In this video, I want to talk about emotional fatigue from toxic relationships. If you're dating somebody and they are toxic, if you're in a toxic relationship, she's creating a lot of drama, she's nagging you like crazy, she's always on your back, she's very disrespectful and rude, but somehow you're still ticking along, you're still in this relationship. Yes, she's disrespectful. Maybe this has been going on for years because you're stuck together. Maybe you live together, you've got shared assets. Oh, there is just so much time invested. You're both scared to leave. You don't want to pull away because you both invested into the relationship. But at the same time, you don't really like each other, right? This is, this is the foundation for a toxic relationship. And so I get emails from guys who say, well, what do I do in this situation? She's very disrespectful to me. Um, she's rude to me. She's bitchy. She's always complaining. And they don't know how to deal with it. But one thing that's also very interesting is that they also mention that they are emotionally exhausted. They feel tired all the time, right? If you're with somebody who is not helping you in life, is not picking you up, is not making you feel good, they're not sexy to you anymore, you're not attracted to them, they're condescending, they're rude, they don't appreciate you, all of these little things, right? It's not going to make your life better. It's going to make it worse. And that's going to take a toll. It's like the compound effect. One time, it's not a big deal. But over time, when it keeps happening, it keeps happening, it keeps happening, it has an emotional toll on the body and the mind. And you will notice that if you break up with somebody and you're in a toxic relationship and you break up, yeah, it can be difficult, but at the same time, you will notice that there is an emotional release. You will start to feel light again. You will start to feel as though you've got your energy back and you will start to feel more energized, more invigorated and happier and more content because Look, if you're going to be with somebody, if you're choosing to be with somebody and attach yourself to somebody in a relationship, they should be bringing comfort, joy, and ease into your life. They shouldn't be bringing pain, misery, suffering, and stress. And all of those negative emotions which come with a toxic relationship, they will pull you down, they will make you feel tired, emotionally drained, stressed out, and unhappy. So it's very important to think about when you're in this kind of situation, are you taking care of yourself? Are you being abused, right? Put yourself first. It's very common for people to become slaves in relationships, right? They become an emotional slave. If you're an emotional slave, that means you are a slave to the relationship. You're stuck. You can't get out of the relationship for whatever reason. Maybe it's a sunk cost. You put so much time into the relationship. You've got to make it work. Right? Maybe you've got kids together. That's a difficult one. Maybe you've got shared assets together. Maybe you just get used to the person. It becomes a pattern and you don't want to break it. You feel uncomfortable not messaging that person or not the idea of not having that person in your life. But always remember that the fear in your mind is always worse than the reality. Right? The mind creates greater fears than reality does. Right? It's always going to feel much more difficult to break up with somebody than it really is. It's always going to be more scary to lose somebody than it actually is. These are some things to consider if you find yourself stuck and you're an emotional slave. I talk about this in great detail in my new book. Don't forget to check it out. You can pick up your copy today by clicking on the link below. And don't forget, I also do Skype, phone, and email consultations. You can book a consultation with me on my website, developattraction.com.